Well, we're in this series where we're discussing the five benefits of subtle connections in our purpose pursuits in life. Today, while I was going through my social media feed in the morning, I saw a quote that uh, I thought I should share with you. And uh, it's coming from a page called Facts. I think that's the page. It's called Fact. This is what they say that a 75-year Harvard study found close relationships are the key to a person's success. Having someone to learn on keeps brain function high and reduces emotional and physical pain. People who feel lonely are more likely to experience health deficiencies and declines earlier in life. But what caught my attention was actually the first line. A 75-year Harvard study found close relationships are the key to a person's success. And that's what we're discussing in this episode. We've seen that it's basically impossible to make it in life in your purpose pursuit alone. You and I need connections. We need people. So let us look at one more benefit that is derived from the subtle connections that you have in your life today. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Alright, so let me do a recap for you. Initially, we've said that one of the biggest things that you can gain from a subtle connection is access. Someone opens the door for you where your qualifications, your bravado, your effort, by the way, your merit, your hard work will never take you there. But that connection is the one that delivers the access that you so badly need. And it's not to say that your effort, your work, your merit are useless. They are things that cannot probably give you the access that you need. But you need that access to accelerate, to go over and above what your pedigree, your merit, your effort, your hard work has given you already. But it is this subtle connection that opens that particular door. Without this, you have your merit, you are stuck. You have your hard work, you are stuck. You have your bravado, you are stuck. You have your pedigree, you are stuck. Until the connection comes into play and opens the door and gives you access to places you've never been before. That is one benefit. The second benefit is, of course, resources. Again, you have your pedigree, you have your hard work and so on, but you just can't scale. You can't mass produce. You need resources. You don't have the resources in and of yourself. You are blind in some areas and you are, you are gifted in others. You have some blind spots, several areas, but there is a connection that can open that particular door where resources become available to you. And the only thing that probably makes this one to work more, it is the value and the impact that you are drawing. So the key will be to clarify what value you're bringing into the market, what value you're offering, what impact you're creating. And once that is clarified, then the resources are connected to you through the subtle connections. But yesterday we talked about an important aspect here and we say that uh, wisdom, it is the third thing that you need in the pursuit of your purpose. As long as you're pursuing your purpose, you will need wisdom. And this wisdom, sometimes you get it from somebody, a mentor, someone who has experience, someone who is basically exposed, someone who has an insight, someone who opens your understanding. In and of yourself, you're blind and you cannot see what they do see. 
And today, number four, what I want to see is the fourth thing. And I'm going to guide you in adding on to what we talked about yesterday on wisdom. Number four, you will need skills and expertise. Skills and expertise come into your life and they make the subtle connection complete. And now the ecosystem that you're trying to operate to see the fruit, the fruition of something that you've been so desperately needing to do come to a close and the whole circuit is now closed. And that's the way the universe works. The universe works with a complementary system. Not that you're deficient and if you're deficient, you're negative. It's not a negative. It is just a need, a need needed. I mean, how can I put it? It is a need that you're expressing in your life that dovetails in the provision that someone else has. And now that need that you have, at times it is a need for skills and expertise. I've used this example very many times. You have an idea of coding coding uh, maybe a social media platform and guess what you have no idea how to code you have two options number one you can go to coding school and take three years to learn how to code right and by the time you've learned how to code time has already moved or number two what can you do you can go straight to the guy who is good in that particular area and now all they do is to partner with you and they give you the expertise and the skills and the talent and the commitment that they have for a fraction of the time that you spend in coding school three years they will do it in three months that is one of the things that you need out of the skills, out of the subtle connections. Number four, it is skills and expertise. A friend of mine always wanted to write a book. And for years on end, I'm talking years on end, trying to write and they only could come up with 60 pages. And they went to publishers and publishers sent them home and said, go and add some words before you can even consider publishing this. And now that I'm good in that, I'm a, an expert in bringing books into life, we meet and in three months, they have a manuscript. And the manuscript is done and the book has opened up doors to many, many other places. And the book is being heralded the other day. It was one of the books that were heralded in the country by the leading newspaper as the book of the month. What happened in there? Skills and expertise came into contact with one person through a connection. So let me tell you something. One of the things that you're going to need in your life Every single one of us, not just you, not just me, but every single one of us. There are some areas where we are lacking in skill. There are some areas where we are lacking in expertise. But as we go ahead and connect in those areas, instead of forming, you know these things that people normally say, work on your weaknesses? Let me tell you, there's a guy who was one of the best American presidents in terms of the economy. And this guy actually came out of the movie world. I've forgotten his name. Maybe Roosevelt. I don't remember. But he came from the movie world. In other words, he wasn't an economist. But he was having an economy that was booming, much like Trump's. Okay, I know we're going to split hairs there. But they asked the guy, you're a movies guy. What, What happened? I mean, what's going on? How do you do it? He said, I hire my weaknesses. That was his strength. Hiring his what? Hiring his weaknesses. So instead of working on your weaknesses, why don't you seek a connection? Think about it this way. I am not so good at public speaking. I'm using that as an example because I'm good at public speaking. And I want my firm to leverage on the power of public speaking. What can I do? I can go to public speaking school and try to start training myself to become a good, excellent public speaker, which is not necessarily my strength. It's my weakness. That is what working on weaknesses is all about. See, there's a book called What's Your Genius by a guy called Jay Niblick, who also talks about that conundrum. People turning to the left or working on themselves or fixing their role. People, for the most part, instead of fixing the role, fixing the role is just basically do what you're good at. 
right? And what you stink at, that's the word he uses, what you are stinking at, you hire it to someone else, leave it to someone else to do it. That's the book called What's Your Genius? And that's what we need to do. But that's where the connections come in, the subtle connections come in. They come into our lives so that we don't have to work on our weaknesses. Get me correctly here. I'm talking about not working on your weaknesses in such a way that you are depending on those weaknesses to succeed. If you're going to depend on the weaknesses to succeed, you better hire somebody who can and work on it and they don't sweat. They love it. They are so passionate about it. Because for the most part, let me tell you, you're going to you're going to dislike your weaknesses. You're going to dislike working on your weaknesses. So why don't you steep yourself into something that you is your strength, something that you're passionate about, something that you're just flowing into it and do your work. So this should be liberate many people. Just the fact that you can do you know, all that you are good at and then get help from somebody else who is good at also what they are doing. It should liberate us all so that we are not, a, you know, a jack of all trades who is not an expert of any of those trades. But we are expertise. We have expertise in one area. And then we leverage on connections to get expertise from other areas. And therefore, we keep on building and building and building. Tomorrow, we're going to come to a close probably on this new series that we had started about the power and the advantages of subtle connections in our lives. But until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.